guys, so I'm here with a simple step-by-step -step tutorial of how I do an everyday makeup look, so keep on watching. So I start by prepping my face. I go ahead and apply a toner, and then I just use a regular moisturizer. Lubriderm is what I use. And I go ahead and rub that all over my face. I make sure I also add a little bit of Vaseline to my lips. Then I go ahead and apply the CoverGirl foundation onto a beauty blender that is wet and I dab it into my skin. You never want to drag the foundation, you always want to keep dabbing it. And it takes a little time, but be patient. As you can see, I am applying this all over my face but when it comes to under my eyes, I keep it very light and overall I keep the foundation very light to keep it simple. I also go under my neck because I have a bug bite there, but I go back under my eyes with a concealer. This one is Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Instant Eraser. I love this concealer. And I apply this under my eyes, making sure my eyes look extremely bright. And then I go ahead and add this on top of any blemishes on the bridge of my nose, a little on my chin, and on my forehead. I also put it on my eyelids, which I did not include in the video. Then I go ahead and blend out everything and of course this takes a lot of time make sure you're patient with getting every spot completely smooth i then use a cream blush which is a very important fact in all this because we want to start off with creams so foundation concealer and blush and i got this from spacecasecosmetics.com so after the cream blush i go ahead and use the bh cosmetics blush plus eyeshadow palette and I go ahead and use this color I use a round blush and I will go ahead and tap this color into my skin it is very vibrant and pigmented so I try to go on top of the hollows of my cheeks and I will go even into my concealer I also apply this on the tip of my nose and I also sometimes put it on my forehead as well as my chin. I learned that from Kylie Jenner. <laughs> then I will use Full Spectrum CoverGirl setting powder and dab my beauty blender under my eyelids to set the concealer I used previously. So I put my blush, that's cream, then my blush, that's powder, and then I will end it off with the CoverGirl setting powder. And then, as you can see, I use Too Faced. This is a contour powder, and I apply that right at the hollows of my cheeks. And I've used this, I don't even know how long. It's like my favorite. So I'll go all around my face, and make sure you blend this properly so that you don't have any lines on the sides of your face. Moving on to eyeshadow, I use Huda Beauty's eyeshadow palette. I do a very simple eyeshadow look where I brighten the inside of my eyes with the lightest color. At times it could be white. And then I go ahead with my own skin tone color and do that on the crease of my eyelid and then end off under the eyebrows with white as well. For eyeliner, I always do a simple cat eye. I prefer this because my eyes are more round in shape and so I think the cat eye complements my eyes. Let me know if you want a specific tutorial on how I do a cat eye. So moving on to mascara, I always have used Maybelline in all the different colors. In this case, it's the orange one. I was on the purple one for the longest time and for some reason I used orange, don't know the difference. I 
go in with a very simple lipstick. I like to stick with pinks and purples to keep it very light. I try not to do any reds or dark purples, especially if it's a everyday makeup look. I didn't include this, but I do add highlighter to my nose and my cheekbones with Amrezy's highlighter, which I don't think she sells anymore. And then right after, I go into my eyebrows. I keep it simple and I use the Naked Palettes black eyeshadow for my eyebrows. I think it's awesome, so I'll just keep doing that. <laughs> So here's the end. I do not put any setting spray. I keep it super simple. I hope you enjoyed this video and my first walkthrough makeup tutorial. Thank you for watching.